Hello, welcome to Master Matic. Before we start this chapter, let me ask you a question. If your body temperature reading is 36.37, you will record your body temperature with how many significant figures? You will record 36 degree, 36.4 or 36.37 degrees Celsius. This is what we will learn in chapter 1, significant figure. And how to determine the number of significant figures? For example, all non-zero digits are significant. Therefore, 42 is 2 significant figure. 42.42 is 4 significant figure. Second, all zeros between non-zero digits are significant. Therefore, 4.02 is 3 significant figure. And 4.002 is 4 significant figures. Third one, all zeros after any non-zero digit in a decimal are significant. For example, 4.20 is 3 significant figure. 42.00 is 4 significant figure. Next, all zeros before any non-zero digit in a decimal are not significant. For example, 0 0.4 is 1 significant figure or 0 0.04020 is 4 significant figure. And take note for the last one, all zeros after any non-zero digit in a whole number are not significant unless stated otherwise. For example, 4000 can be one significant figure, can be two significant figure or three significant figure. That means the significant figures is depend on what you stated after the number. Let's proceed to rounding off. For easier illustration, we will discuss about Mr. Wilson weight. Looking at the statement, Mr. Wilson weight is 101.47 kg. This is 5 significant figure. If I want to round off his weight to 4 significant figure, then we should look at the fifth digit and check whether it is five or more or it is less than five. The fifth digit is seven, which is more than five. Therefore, we can add one to the previous digit, which is adding one to the four and drop the number seven. Therefore, in four significant figure equal to 101.5 kg. One more example, I want to round off Mr. Wilson weight to 3 significant figure. Now I look at the 4th number, which is 4. And 4 is less than 5, therefore we will drop the number 4. And in 3 significant figure, the answer is 101 kg. Can you round off Mr. Wilson weight to 2 significant figure and 1 significant figure? Both answer are 100 kg. But make sure you state 2 significant figure on the first answer and you state 1 significant figure on the second answer. Because all zeros after any non-zero digit in a whole number are not significant unless stated otherwise. Therefore, you must state the number of significant figure in your answer. What is the relationship between the significant figure and the accuracy of the reading? Let's discuss in more detail about Mr. Wilson weight. For the 4 significant figure, his weight reading is 
1.5 kg. In three significant figures, his weight reading is 101 kg. Whereas in two significant figures, his weight reading is only 100 kg. So, are you able to find out which reading is more accurate? In conclusion, the higher the significant figure, the higher the accuracy of the reading. And you may pause the video for 5 minutes and try this question. The answers are provided at the end of this video. The next topic of this chapter is standard form. Standard form is used to express a very large number or a very small number. Standard form is written as a times 10 to the power of n where the a must be greater or equal to 1 and must be smaller than 10. Whereas the index number n can be a positive or a negative integer. Look at the example here. When a equal to 0 0.9, a equal to 10 and a equal to 10.1, it is outside the range of a must be greater or equal to 1 and less than 10. Therefore, it cannot be a standard form. If a equal to 1, 1.1, 9, or 9.9, .9, it is within the range of a must be greater than 1 or equal to 1 and less than 10. Therefore, it can be a standard form. Now, I want to express 880,000 in standard form. The standard form is 8.8 .8 times 10 to the power of 5. And you can see the other equivalent value such as 0 0.088 times 10 to the power of 7 or 88,000 times 10 to the power of 1. All these are non-standard form because the a is outside the range of a must be greater than 1 or equal to 1 and a must be less than 10. Next, converting. Converting from standard form to single numbers and from single numbers to standard form. For example, convert 8.8 times 10 to the power of 5 to single numbers. First, you write down 8.8, .8, then you move the decimal point 5 places to the right. The second example, 8.8 .8 times 10 to the power of negative 5. It's also similar to the previous example. First, you write 8.8, .8, then you move the decimal point 5 places to the left, equal to 0.000088 and converting single numbers to standard form. For example, 880,000 converting to standard form. You can move the decimal point 5 places to the left. It will become 8.8 .8 times 10 to the power of 5. In the next example, 0 0.000088. You can move the decimal point 5 places to the right to get 8.8 .8 times 10 to the power of negative 5. Now let's pause the video for 5 minutes and you may try this question. The answers are provided at the end of this video. Next is the addition and subtraction of standard form. Please take note, two numbers in a standard form can be added or subtracted if both numbers have the same index. For example, 2.8 times 10 to the power of 3 plus 1.2 times 10 to the power of 3. Both standard form has the same index number of 3. Therefore, 2.8 and 1.2 can be added up and multiplied with 10 to the power of 3 and the answer is 4.0 times 10 to the power of 3. Make sure the answer is in standard form. Another example of addition between standard form 2.8 times 10 to the power of 3 plus 9.6 times 10 to the power of 3. Since both standard form have the same index number, then 2.8 and 9.6 can be added up and multiply with 10 to the power of 3 and equal to 12.4 times 10 to the power of 3. But take note, this is not the final answer because 12.4 is outside the range of a must be greater to 1 or equal to 1 and less than 10. Therefore, to make it in standard form, you can move the decimal point 1 places to the left and add 1 to the index number 3, equal to 1.24 times 10 to the power of 4. 
for subtraction is also similar to addition. Just make sure both standard form to be subtracted with each other have the same index number and your answer must be in standard form. How about when the index number are different? For example, 2.8 times 10 to the power of 4 plus 1.2 times 10 to the power of 3. First, you pick the standard form with smaller index and convert it to bigger index. For example, the standard form with smaller index is 1.2 times 10 to the power of 3. Convert to bigger index become 0.12 times 10 to the power of 4. Now, both the standard form have the same index number and you can add up 2.8 and 0.12 times 10 to the power of 4 and make sure your final answer is in standard form. This method is also applicable for subtraction. When two numbers in standard form are multiplied or divide, the ordinary numbers are multiplied or divide with each other while their indices are added or subtracted. For example, 2.8 times 10 to the power of 4 multiplied with 1.4 times 10 to the power of 3. First, their ordinary number 2.8 multiplied with 1.4, then their indices are added together, which is 10 to the power of 4 plus 3. And the final answer is 3.92 times 10 to the power of 7. And also you must make sure your answer is in standard form. And for division, 2.8 times 10 to the power of 4 divided by 1.4 times 10 to the power of 3. Their ordinary number 2.8 and 1.4 are divided by each other. Their indices are subtracted, which is 10 to the power of 4 minus 3. And the final answer is 2.0 times 10 to the power of 1. In the last section of this chapter, I have summarized the tips for you, which is the addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division of standard form. You may pause the video for 5 minutes and try this question. And the answers are provided at the end of this video.